Hi, in this video, we are showing you how to enter the purchase bill. Purchase entry. So, in the main panel, you can see Add Supplier. Before entering the purchase entry, you just add a supplier. Here you can see this purchase entry menu. Also you can see this purchase entry options under transaction menu. Purchase entry. So under purchase entry, you need to select the supplier. So as of now, I don't have any supplier account right now in this software account. So I just wanted to add the supplier ID, supplier account. For this, you can see a green button here. From there, you can choose a supplier account. If there is no supplier account, you can add a supplier by clicking this add supplier button. So click there. So, in the supplier entry sections, you can create a supplier code or else you can generate a random code from here and supplier name, address, GST number, contact details, all the details you can just fill up. Fill up. Once you complete all these sections, you can save this one. And if you have any opening credits or debit details that also you, you can just enter the supplier bank account details everything so now as of now i am just entering few details that's it i am just saving it also option is there to validate the gst number whether the gst number is right or not wrong and also the option is available for checking from direct GST portal once you click this button that will take you into GST portal from here also you can just find this GST number so now I am just selecting that supplier account now you can start enter the products which is available in that purchase bill so under products name column type the item name turmeric powder click enter and type the quantity so this item while creating this item products we selected the purchase as exclusive so the tax will be added uh, tax will be added into this so as of now it is not showing why because uh, tax type be it selected non gst so we need to ch change if you wanted to calculate the tax also along with this item price you need to change this over here you can see the purchase tax as non tax so make it gst and click update so now if i am if i enter this item it will calculate this gst also along with the item price so the item price is 100 and gst is 9 percentage so 
so the total price you can see including the tax using these options you can calculate the margin with the retail price and wholesale price also as of now I am not doing this now I am add, added into the cart again I am adding one or two items 50 pieces Italy rice packet 500 grams 25 pieces once you finish you just save it once after saving you can generate barcode also here also you can click and generate the barcode So particular item barcode you can just create it from here so choose the template design template and the number of copy you can type here how many, how many pieces of barcode you wanted to generate Using this software, you can also design and edit your barcode print, barcode label. And this is options for copying the purchase order. If you have any purchase order details or previous details and all, you can just copy that bill to make it faster. Now I am just saving this information. So now you can just create the barcode. This is with the F4 sheet. So let me close this. Chip password or barcode also it supports. Now you can see this purchase invoice. You can send this word in voice copy by WhatsApp also. So in the next video I'll show you how to configure the WhatsApp. So you can send WhatsApp messages. Your invoice copy to the customer or supplier or So thank you for watching this video. So in the next video I will show you how to integrate WhatsApp with our Azim Billing software. Thank you for thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel.